Hello. Um, Search Art has like these capabilities to to use references to create uh, to kind of mix and match different studies together. And I just got a request for someone that asked to um, see how he can change the color of the bars best based on um, volume thresholds. So I'm gonna record just a quick video to show how to do that and kind of provide a reference for for other combinations that you might want to do. So what I have up is just a chart and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add volume to this chart just so we can see it visually oh, sorry I think my volume is set to display in black so let's change that to uh, white just so we can see it there we go. Next, I'm going to add the line study. Or, you know what, let's do it this way. What I want to do is there is a study called um, color bar based on above below study. So basically what this study does, it'll color the price bar if a certain subgraph is above or below um, this input data. Okay, so basically what I'm going to tell is input data, I'm going to set it to the volume, okay, because this is the values we're going to be looking at. And I need to give it a reference study for which the volume needs to be either above or below in order to to um, to calculate to, to draw the bar so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add since we want it based on a constant value which is some number I'm just going to add a line study and this one has a value default value of one so I'm just going to add here let's say um, 300 and I'm going to have it display in region 2, which is where the volume is currently set up. And I'll change this to um, actually green is just fine. Click apply. Um, this is a bit low down here, so let's give it just a higher value. Let's make this um, maybe 2,000. Let's make it even bigger. Twenty thousand. There we go. So basically, now I want to see that all the bars that the volume is above this green line are going to be painted um, a different color. So if I go into here again, and now I can configure this, I'll be able to set this reference study to be the line. Okay, it just has one subgraph, and I'm going to be coloring it when it's above and we'll see which way we need it above or below I'm not really sure but we'll see that in a second and we're gonna color my bars um, let's say um, let's give it green actually that's okay and voila now we can see that all the bars that are above this 20,000 level are colored that specific color.